Hello there, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday. I hope you had a great holiday season. It's been a while since we've had a tip, but we're right on track for 2012. Thank you so much for joining me and oh, Happy New Year to you. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you about a command that isn't in the menu anymore. It's a top secret command. It's a dimensioning command called dim rotated and sometimes this command really comes in handy. So I'm gonna share with you how to use it today, all right? So dim rotated. Let me show you an example where this command would really come in handy. So I want to dimension the distance between this corner here, perpendicular to this line over here. Or another way of looking at it is the distance from this corner here, and if I could extend this line out somewhere out here, I want that distance. So I could do dim align. Let's try dim align. We'll go to dim align. I could offhand just maybe do the distance from here to here. Well, that's clearly wrong, right? That's the distance as, as, a, as a crow flies. It's that diagonal distance, plus clearly by looking at the dimension line, it's at the wrong angle. So let's undo that. That's not what we want. So we try dim aligned again. Let's do dim aligned again and pick this corner. Maybe this time I'll say perpendicular to this line over here. Now that is the right distance. And as I pull this out, you'll see that I do have the right value and it is at the right angle, but I do have an overlap here of my extension line, right? Which I would have to clean up. Okay, this is where dim rotated really comes in handy. Let's undo that one and try it one more time. Let's do dim rotated. Now I have to type it in because it's not in the menu. There it is. And now I'm gonna say, now it's asking me for the angle of the dimension line. Well, the angle of the dimension line is this angle right here. I'm just gonna pick those two points to show it the angle. And now it wants me to pick the two endpoints for the extension lines, okay? I want it to dimension from here to here. As I pull that out, you can see clearly it is the right value. It's parallel to the angle that I gave it initially for the dimension line. It's the right value. I don't have any overlapping. It's exactly what I want. It's perfect. I don't have to do any cleanup, which is good. So try dim rotated. It's a top secret command. Once again, just between you and me, don't tell anyone you need to know. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that we're going to have a full year of great tips here in 2012, and I hope that you have a great rest of the week. Thank you for joining me.